Ooh, good throw. She said to herself. Oh, hi. 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 Uh, okay. Oh, it's a graveyard. That would make sense. It almost looks like a gravestone. It is a gravestone. What are you talking about? Uh, it's almost a gravestone. Why? Why did that happen? I was trying to throw a Pokeball. <laughs> she just left up onto the tree. Like, that's what she was supposed to do. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not surprised. Oh god. 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 <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, this is not helpful. I think I've lived. I think I survived. Maybe. From downtown! Oh, that wasn't even... That wasn't even close. Wow. From... From downtown? Hi. What? Oh, there's a golem! Ow! Sorry! It's an alpha <laughs> golem! Run! <laughs> Magic harps! We're gonna throw Pokeballs at every single magic card. Hi. You're next. Alright. And then just... you. <laughs> and then you. Oh, oh I God. missed. You. And then uh, you. Oh. You. Hey, you didn't stay. You. <laughs> All the fishes. We need every single fishes ever. Yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do about it? You're a magic card. Judging on how yours went, and I'm worse. Fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ, man! Relax. I just hear the footsteps up behind me, and then just all of these sparks and flames. <laughs> Okay, we got a weird sneasel. Wow, this area is a lot bigger than I thought. I was just kind of like slowly leaning. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Please stop. Oh, hi. Hi? <laughs> he keep charging around the rock to come attack me. No, please. I just want the chip. Please. No, it jumped out again. Why? Oh wait, there's another one over there. Okay, we'll go for that one. We won't try to take the Steelix's snack slash pet. Hi. Yes. Oh, the magic herbs! Why do they look so stupid? They have the stupid dopey grin. Apparently my, my pockets are a lot better than the river that they had. <laughs> you quelled Lord Electrode? Splendid job as always. Let's be off to the village then. Time to report to Commander Pomodo. Exactly. Hello? You're so small! What's that Pokemon up there? What's its name? What's it do? What, Magikarp? Yeah, Magikarp. It does nothing. Why is it called Magikarp? Is it a cool Pokemon? Is it strong? Can it fly? No, it can't fly. Why can't it fly? Are those floppy things its wings? Tell me, tell me. No, they're fins. It's a fish. So you want me to finish the page? I think I literally did, right? No? Okay. Actually, I caught so many, I wouldn't have been surprised. Oh my god, did your sister get lost again? Dude, at this point, just give up on her. Like, just let her die. It's not worth it. Hi, can you level me up, please? Hello, I did the thing. Erm. So Warden Belly believes that frenzies... The frenzies of these Pokemon are some sort of trial set by Almighty Sinnoh. We cannot know if that is the case or not, but it does beg the question. Why ever would this Almighty Sinnoh drive the nobles into a frenzy? Is it angered by something, or does it seek to drive a wedge between people and Pokemon? Well, far be it from us humans to fathom the thoughts of a Pokemon. And what is that space-time rift anyway? What caused it to open? Hmm, me must be tired. Go on then, to Wildflower. Get some rest while you can. That's ominous. I was starting to beg you to pray you his finest potato mochi. Yay! We love potato mochi. Sure, sure, whatever's happening. This stuff doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyway, he said, is it nice, isn't it nice to get up early? It's not as if getting up early changes what you can do with the day. I mean, it does. It opens up possibilities, such as responding to Commander Commodore's... Com my god. Commander Commodore's invitation today in a timely manner. Well, I got that same invitation, and I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Come on, no need to grouse so much over a nice little early wake up. Are you coming too? I'm sure we can all guess what the Commander wants with us. 
Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall, Hall is quite close. Anyway, I mean, I would know. I live here. Oh, I don't have a choice. When one of these frenzies arrives... Arrived from all over Hisui, I fear what will become of us. But here we are, already preparing to quell the final noble. Yeah, who would have dreamed some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising you. Avalug? Which lives in the Alabaster I Ice Islands. Wow. He's also the largest of the nobles, according to what Irida told me. Okay. Sure. Have a look, maybe Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan and the galaxy team will have to step up to resolve the suit for the sake of a brighter future. And that's all meet in the cold reaches of the Alabaster Ice Lakes. Until then! No matter how many of these frenzied Pokemon you may quell, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No small number of people still regard you with suspicion and distrust. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many people, and to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. Yeah. What happened? What oh, happened? it's just a wormhole. Oh. Teleport this wormhole inside at once. <laughs> it's, it's... I don't think he just teleported that wormhole. I think he just murdered it. Ahem. Shoot a survey of the Alabaster Islands next. This is the most treacherous climb you'll face in all of Sui. It would not only be oh it would not be an exaggeration to say that you may be the only one among the survey corps to even I can task with surveying the Alabaster Islands. You know your orders to see your mission through. Okay. The color of your clothing can make all the difference in the world, don't you think? Uh yeah. You wanna dress up in your favorite color, don't you? I want to make clothing in new colors, but I can't get a hold of the right materials. Um, I probably have shards. Yep. Red shard. Blue shard. Green shard. Well, I have a lot more green shards than anything else. Here are your shards, ma'am. A color more beautiful than even I even imagined. All thanks to you, dear customer. Sure. I'm telling you, Burmy is the Pokemon with the cloak made of leaves. Oh, it, they're gonna want all these different kinds of Burmies. Can I just bring one Burmy? Yep, now they want the other Burmies. Alright, let's go, please. So we're to make it for the Alabaster Islands. Yep. I see. Of course, I'm all too aware of the injuries um, done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of other nobles. There seems to be little choice but to intervene, but this avalug out in the Alabaster Islands hasn't harmed a soul as I hear it. Does it really behoove us to go out of our ways to subdue him? I mean, there's no point in not going just because something hasn't happened yet. If avalug is as huge and strong as they say, there's a good chance he can start an avalanche. Avalanches don't require any Pokemon help. Blah, blah, blah. I confess I still have my doubts whether we should even be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far, but if we send Haley out there, we're putting her in danger, real harm. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, yeah, sure. I guess we'll battle. Oh, no. So sleepy. Don't be too sleepy. Okay, thank you. Thank you for not being too sleepy. Sorry, Pikachu. <laughs> we did it. We killed all oh. of his Pokemon. Okay, I need to go rest my Pokemon, though, I think. Nope, just kidding. They got healed. We're off! Wait, there's a mass outbreak of Magikarp. I have to go do that. Ooh, you have to go do that. I have to go to the mass outbreak of Magikarp. Alright, here we go. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Hi, mass outbreak. Oh, well. Hey, you'll get a shiny Magikarp out of it. Right? <laughs> Well, that wasn't the one I was trying to lock onto, but... There's so many! Oh my god, Haley. <laughs> this is ridiculous! <laughs> this is so stupid! <laughs> and I'm loving every moment of it. Yeah! But you're having fun. Yes. <laughs> the reported Pokemon seem to be gone! I literally caught all of them! I wanted more! Hello, look at all my Magikarp! <laughs> oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, well, it was 19 Pokemon in total, minus three, so it was 16 Magikarp. 
By the way, you're gonna need to build a pond. Yeah, we finished Magic Carp, so we can go finish that quest. Okay. Let's go. Oh, no, there's a... A Gligar one? Gligar one? I can't tell which one it is from here. One of those. As an outbreak. Ooh. So pretty. So incredibly pretty. Right? I don't... Uh, Zurich Corpse, of course, must... Yeah. Uh, from what I gather, Ice Peak Arena, where you find Avalug. I'm rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless this mission to tackle Avalug will be another dangerous one. Learn all you can from Irida and Adamant to try and keep yourself safe. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. How <laughs> aren't you freezing? Yeah, sure. Sure, whatever you say. Uh, you know, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't Diamond Clan thing or a Pearl Clan thing. It's just a you and me thing. <laughs> that's that's very <laughs> possible. We'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? I don't see how we could, as long as you and your clan can do- Okay, yeah, it's religion, whatever. Forgive my bluntness, but if- such a being even does exist. It's certainly not almighty so. Yes, yes, believe what you want. Just tell us where we have to go. Uh, we're headed to see my teacher, and he's only ever found in one place. Which is? Uh, you're talking about that Garrick fellow, right? Where do we find him? At Avalug's legacy, obviously. Uh, where else but a great mass of ice could I have met when I said we'd be heading somewhere even colder? <laughs> where else indeed? Ready to go? Yep. Yep, yep. Sure, stop off without me. This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing them by. Sure, whatever. You guys can argue all you want. Ah! Ah! That was very much so near death. Of course. Chill, chill, chill. Give me some space, man. We're not friends. Stop! Okay, I see, I see. You want to perish. I get it, I get it. There you go. Death. You're welcome. So clear to me. You crave death. How could I not have seen it sooner? I see a Buneary! A bun. I got the bun. This place is large. This eye palm is just dead. Ooh, wait. Not Glaley. Wow, that's the other one. Right? No, that's clearly. They have what? very similar names. When I first got into Pokemon, the first time that I saw one of these, I thought it was a legendary. Oh. It just it just looked like and I, I saw it in card form before anything else. Just design wise, okay. it looked like it was supposed to be a legendary. Hi. Well that was a real slog fighting through those miserable icy winds to reach this desolate bit of nowhere. Well done us. <laughs> this gentleman is Avalon's warden and my most honorable teacher. Garrick. Is this supposed to be Garrick? So show some respect, Adamin. Let's begin with some proper introductions. I'm Garrick. I serve as one of the Pearl Clan's wardens. And you must be Haley, right? Of the Galaxy Team. That's me. Answer me this, would you? On what grounds do you come here seeking to quell Lord Avalug? Um... He's in a frenzy. It's my next question. What is wrong with him being frenzy? I mean, it could trouble others, but mainly also he's suffering. Right? Uh, then I have another question. Setting aside any orders, what is it that your heart, heart tells you to do? To quell his frenzy. <laughs> Our mighty lord of the tundra, Avalug, has no done nothing to trouble any person or Pokemon. Sir, please try to keep it cool. For now, indeed, Avalug's causing no trouble. But aren't we also duty-bound to free our people from living in fear that such a colossal Pokemon might break... Oh, might begin to wreak havoc at any moment. We are. There's certainly some logic to that. But if that's what this is you hope to accomplish, then we must judge whether this child is up to the task. Who cares about grandstanding? It's the battling. Okay. Hello, Glalie. <laughs> sure, I'll take that free first turn.
Good God, chill out. <laughs> he got four turns. Outstanding, I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smashed me through and through. Well, maybe we shouldn't say it that way. I suppose you can, you all can get on with it now. This one's all right. Thank you, sir. Some may still have their doubts about a stranger like Haley, but I'll vouch for her. Um, if you insist on quelling Avalon's frenzy, you'll want to claim some of that eternal ice he likes and bring it to my lord's seat. Good luck. Thanks. For you, you have to be able to fly, which means you need braviary. Long story short, you've got to seek out a young lady named Sabi. Tell the long story... Long? You're not saving any time if we waste it puzzling out what you mean? Isn't Avalon one of Pearl Clan's lords? It seems a bit odd for me to do the talking. But fine. Listen up. This eternal ice stuff can be found atop Avalug's legacy here. But to get there, you'll need my clan's help. Not even Sneezler can climb this surface, let alone a person like you or me. You're going to have to approach by air with Braviary's help. Uh, Garrick once managed to climb nearly to the top of Avalug's la legacy, I'll have you know. He said he made it to within six feet of the top. Makes Might makes right, or at least height. <laughs> And uh, about Sabi, how do I put this? Even when she's not flying with Braviary, she's got her hand in the clouds. Well, you understand once you meet her, head to Snow Point Temple, and you'll probably come across her sooner or level. Later. What? Sabi. <laughs> oh, hi. My uh, clairvoyance told me that I'd lead you on a chase. Think you can reach me? I see what you mean about Sabi. Why would she be up there? Seems you better focus on pursuing Warden Sabi, and let me focus on my workout while I still can. Okay. <laughs> you enjoy your three squats. Hi. Hello, my name is Sabi. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Uh, uh, I don't know, same to you? I've heard about you. You're super talented, right? I bet you're gonna be fun to play with. I know why you're here, too. I want... Oh, you want Braviary's help so you can quell Avalug's frenzy, don't you? I mean, it'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Well, you'll get it if you can catch me first. Let's go, Braviary. Hi. That's me. You made it all the way up here in this cold, but the question is, did you catch me or did I let myself get caught? Hmm. One more thing. Am I really clairvoyant? Uh, you might be. No one can know but me, right? Anyway, the challenge continues. The next stop on our merry chase is Snow Point Temple. Who fucking gives a shit? Like, <laughs> which is like, but the real question is, no one cares what the real question is. Let's just get on with it. Stupid wild oh, goose chase. Oh, it's the dude! Do the meme! <laughs> Ow, I just dove right into that. It's nice having someone new out here to play with. Safety in numbers or something like that. Anyway, here's Snow Point Temple. I've opened the door for you. Just a little more chasing left for you to do. Okay. I heard what Warden Sabi said. If you have Warden Sabi's approval to enter, then by all means do so. But be warned, those who cannot solve the puzzle's temples won't be very far within. Okay. Um, I've heard the trick is to pay attention to which stone statues are looking at. I to think of it, I believe the statues have some sort of pattern in their chests, too. Alrighty, in we go. Uh, there are faint traces of a rock pattern on the statue's chest. Okay. Um, am I under attack? Hello? <laughs> Hi. I don't know where you came from, but okay. There are three fa panels fitted into the door. Each panel has a pattern carved into it. There are faint traces of the words carved into the door as well. Wither the statue's gains. Um. I don't really think this is going to be right, but I guess I'll try it. Press the panels. Oh, that worked. Okay. Ooh, 
Oh, the wisp. Wow, this that sucks. This better be the only one in here. <laughs> nice. I think that's right. Yay! Okay, that should be it. Let's see. Yay! Please tell me it's the last one. <laughs> Don't want to do anymore. <laughs> oh! There's an Alpha Gallade! Oh dear. Like, whether I catch him or not, he's getting a Pokeball to the face so I can run by. Oh, hi. Just expecting more Pokemon. Instead, there is a child. I guess I've been caught, so we're nearly done. That's no fun. Do you remember my clairvoyance? It showed me something else. I saw you flying with Braviary. Do you think that'll come to pass? I'll make sure it does, I guess? Well, however the future turns out, flying with Braviary isn't easy. If you want to be able to fly high in the sky, prove me you're strong enough. Okay, we'll battle. Oh, wow. That's a big boy. True. Oh my god. Threw out three giant Pokemon all at once. Okay, go away, please. Goodbye. Prove your strength to Bravier on the Rook of Snow Point Temple. What do you mean? What does that mean? All my Pokemon are fainted. <laughs> Rock. Rock. What? Really? This is starting to feel like the deck's really stacked against me. Jeez. <laughs> One Pokemon left. No, I don't care. She can leave. Ugh. <laughs> like, this just took forever. I want to be done. I want to go heal my Pokemon. Cool. Can I go heal my, my Pokemon now? Oh, Audubon's here. I can't skip things anymore. You are also <laughs> covered in snow. <laughs> a world where people and Pokemon live and work together, huh? Yeah. I mean, we kind of have that a little bit, but... Tell me, why do you think the lightning that comes out of the rift would cause these frenzies? Do you really think this almighty Sinnoh's... This is almighty Sinnoh's anger, or do you think it's a trial it's putting us? To us. Whatever. If it is a trial... If we prove ourselves worthy and we call the last noble, calm Avalug, then the rift really ought to close, right? Even if one, if the one who seems to be clearing this trial is a newcomer like you, not one of us who've been living here in Hisui for ages now. How come you're playing whole wise? I thought you weren't a big thinker, Adam. <laughs> I can feel history on the move. As far as I can see, the one ushering in this new era is you. So if I stick with you, someday I might get to meet Almighty Sinnoh myself. The question is... Uh, I don't care what your questions are. Goodbye! <laughs> uh, if you jump from all the way up here, Braviary can take you gliding just about every anywhere. Uh, don't forget to get the Eternal Ice. That's why you need Braviary in the first place, right? Yep! I love Zekasi is down there. I have a bit of feel for flying with Braviary. When you're done soaring the skies and want to land, I just ask you to dive. With Braviary, you can fly high in the sky, explore different areas of Vesuvius in the air. Summon him, you can also press A if you're falling. Cool! Wee! Wee! We are flying! Pretty cool! Um, how do I dive? Oh, well, that just. Why is dive? Gotcha. I'm here. I did it. The controls aren't great, but it works. <laughs> Your arc phone is beeping. Hello? 
Oh, I'm just gonna ignore my phone, I guess. At last, the summit is conquered. And I see you made it too. Flew down to this place and obtained the eternal lights, did you? What drives that burning zeal of yours, I wonder? I do have to respect the effort you've put in. I may still have my own doubts weighing on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations so that you can face my lord, Avalug. Meet me at the Ice Peak Arena. Sure. After I get my Pokemon. I don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform. So let's we meet. 